Hello everybody. Today we'll be recording the first lecture on thermodynamics. Chemical engineering thermodynamics. Well, thermodynamics as a subject has always created an awe, frustration amongst most of the students in the, at the undergraduate classes and at the postgraduate classes also. Now, this series of lectures will be in demystifying the entire subject. What I have found it that mostly students do not understand the fundamental concepts of the subject. And that is why when we go to the higher uh, aspects of the subject, many people get lost. So here, the series of lecture will start with the fundamentals of thermodynamics, where more attention will be paid on discussing the fundamentals and then taking up to the higher levels. So let's begin with our lecture. The first lecture that is systems and surroundings. I am Professor Arvind Prasad. Now, what is the universe? Everything around us, including us, is the universe. We are a part of the universe. We are not apart from it. Now, what is a system? A system is that part of the universe on which we focus our attention. In thermodynamics, we define a system to make calculations to understand it. We are only concerned about what is changing in the system and what comes across or leaves the system. We are not concerned about the surroundings. So therefore we focus, we draw a boundary in which our system exists and we try to study everything that's within the boundary and everything that's crossing the boundary. The universe, as indicated earlier, is the system and the surrounding, both taken together. So therefore, universe is nothing but the system plus the surrounding. Now let's come to what is a state variable. It's a variable that takes values depending on the state of the substance. Well, the substance in thermodynamics, at least in chemistry or in physics or in science, can be solid, liquid, gas, plasma, or critical fluid. It can be anything of this. For a pure fluid, at least we can say that the state variables are the temperature, pressure, and the volume. For an ideal gas, as you can see, the state variables are nothing but the temperature, pressure, and the volume. Once again, ideal gas is nothing but a pure fluid. An ideal gas state can be, a behavior can be shown by many compounds that is carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen, or it can be even a mixture of gases, right? So even a mixture of gases, we will be considering it, when it's in an ideal gas state, we'll be considering it as nothing but a pure component. And the relationship PV is equal to NRT still holds good there, even if it is a mixture. So temperature, pressure and volume, they are the variables or state variables of an ideal gas. Now for a real fluid, which is pure, pressure and temperature define the state. Let's say for example, water. Water is a liquid at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. When we heat up water, it vaporizes. Let's heat it up at 110 degrees Celsius and under a pressure of one atmosphere. Now what do we find? The water is a vapor. So therefore pressure and temperature, these two variables, that is the state variables, they are sufficient in defining the state. So therefore they are known as the state variables. Let me correct myself. These two variables, that is pressure and temperature, they are sufficient to define what is the state of water. Therefore pressure and temperature are nothing but the state variables. We are also aware that for every temperature and pressure, water is going to have a different volume. 
therefore different but unique volume therefore volume is also a state variable so this was all about what is a state variable what is a system what is a surrounding i hope that the lecture was clear and lucid enough for every person to appreciate and understand it let's hope this creates an interest in you in thermodynamics and especially chemical engineering thermodynamics more lectures to come keep watching have a great day bye